Yeah, okay. Um, so I was late this stream. I'm sure many of you noticed that. Uh, let me explain why. Uh, fucking madness. Insanity has happened, and I will explain. Um, we had the Greer case moved to Florida because, uh, we, I mean, really, it, it was a questionable motion, but why not? Let's move it to Florida where Hardin is licensed because then we don't have to pay people to be intermediaries to babysit our... our um, our, uh... Oh, it'll catch back up. It's 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 still um it's still doing that thing where it like checks for obstructions and shit. So I think it it the upload speed goes up and down. Anyways, um, we, we the case with Greer was moved to Florida. This is a four year old case, by the way, that hasn't moved past the first steps. Um, it ended up in Florida, and we were waiting on the judge to respond, and it took him months. And then eventually the magistrate handed the case back up to the actual Florida judge, uh, Casey something, who is a, a, the, the actual judge for the, 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 the district. And she decided to kick it back to Utah. So now the case is back in Utah. We have made no progress in either direction for the last four fucking months. Nothing is happening in this case and never will. Uh, so this, this decision, by the way, from, uh, Casey to move this case 15, 16, it's a 16 page transfer judgment, which is fucking absurd by itself. This, this decision is insane. This decision is literal fucking madness. Um, she is a 11th circuit judge who looked at this and told the 10th circuit that they got it wrong. They applied their own law incorrectly. Uh, they did things, they did things bad and they get to do it again. So she kicked it back to Utah. Here are the two uh, or three situations. Um, Utah could decide to keep the case. Utah could decide to not keep the case. Or we could appeal. Um, and actually, we can't even appeal it anymore. Uh, that, was, that was what I was going to say. Um, but because the trans... they, they Okay, so usually... <laughs> this is how much of a fucking nightmare the courts are. If you want to appeal something, you have to appeal it in the appellate court where both the case is and the decision was made. Where is that right now? Nowhere. Um, it Literally, you cannot appeal this decision because you would have to appeal it in the 11th court or district where the um, case no longer is. It's called an interlocutory appeal. It doesn't. It's, it's no longer an option. They literally transferred this in 15 minutes. 15 minutes between the order given... And the move to Utah was the time that we had to file an appeal because it was an immediate decision. And now that it's happened already and we haven't given the appellate court notice, we have to file something that says, look, be on notice. We're going to appeal this shit. If you, you, we literally had 15 fucking minutes, literally 15 minutes to file that. Didn't happen. But I wouldn't have done that anyway because I have no fan. There is no fan in this room. I'm sweating. I'm sweating like a fucking pig. I turned down my mic. Okay, is this better? Okay, so um, the the ability, our ability for the appeal is already gone. But I wouldn't have wanted to take that uh, option anyways because this fucking lady obviously hates me. Like, this woman obviously wants nothing to do with this case, has no interest in making a real judgment, and doesn't want to actually adjudicate law as prescribed by the judicial branch. That That's not fucking happening. This lady, Casey... Casey says, fuck you. So it's like, okay, Casey, Miss Casey, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want to be in your court anyway. So now we're back in Utah. Two things that can happen here. Um, the court could decide, actually, we got it right the first time back to Florida, you go, or the court could decide, okay, whatever, I guess we'll deal with it. Um, we we will probably not contest that because obviously this woman doesn't want to go with us. And even if we could appeal it, by the way, um, if you guys are following the news, there's that rapper in Atlanta who's getting, um, he's like young, young thug or something. He's being like charged with murder. And, uh, the, the, the judge in that case was having, um, ex parte meetings with the, the, uh, opposing like the state, which a judge is not supposed to have. And when the uh, representative of Young Thug or whatever, um, the young the young guy, I think it's the young Th young not Young Clippa. We'll get to that. I think his name is Young Thug. Anyways, the his attorney objected to the judge having ex parte meetings, which he's not supposed to have with the prosecutor, and um, the judge was offended that he got called out on having a um, like an illicit ex parte meeting and. Uh, 
held the judge or held the uh, attorney in contempt of court, like on the spot, and ordered him arrested. So that's insane. Um, the murderer will, that that's so insane that it's very likely that the murderer will walk and the judge will be kicked off the bench because you can't really do that. It's not like the Kiwi Farms. If someone stands up to you and says something you don't like, you can't just ban them from the courtroom. Um, people generally have a right to practice law if they have a if they and they have a right to point out things that you've done wrong. Um, so I my point is I don't want to go to the eleventh court of appeals in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, that is not my that is I don't want to. Okay, if Casey says that she doesn't want to handle my case, then we'll find a way around it without going to Atlanta, which sounds like the worst idea possible. Okay. So we're going to have to figure out a way. I have a plan. I have a plan. I have a, a vague idea of how the law works, and I have a plan moving forward. It's just my plan. I'm going to, I have said, do my thing. I have an idea. Every, nothing makes sense anymore. This is literally the only case that he's ever heard of where it gets transferred and then transferred back because the judge receiving the case decided that she didn't want to deal with it. Never heard of this before. It's called ping-ponging. It's actually explicitly against the 11th Court of uh, Rules. But Casey knows that it would cost $10,000 to go to Atlanta and point out that she made a mistake. And she's bet betting on the fact that we're not going to spend $10,000 to have an interlocutory appeal. Um, and she's right. We're not going to do that. So Casey wins. Okay. Miss, Miss Casey, the judge in Florida, she wins. Okay. So we're just going to figure out what the fuck to do. Um, so that's why my the stream was 10 minutes late. Because I had a 30-minute long phone call that uh, um, messed up my, my stream prep. Okay, cool. What's wrong with my story? I only have a 5%. Oh, listen, listen, here's the deal. I have not, my, I was using, the reason why I'm in the closet is because it works. The kebab shop Wi-Fi gets in here. I now have my own router and my own Wi-Fi, but it's in the other room. I have not moved my streaming setup from the closet in my living room where my Wi-Fi is and plugged it in. So now I'm going to have to get move my streaming setup back up uh, out of the room. Okay, so that's why there's packet loss. Just fucking give me a second. Everything is in a state of flux all the time. You just got to say, give it a second, okay? <sighs> Kebab Wi-Fi was better. <laughs> all right, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, the okay, that's done. We're done talking about that. I'm gonna figure it out, don't you worry. I'm gonna get a law degree. I'm gonna get and the time that it will take for me to resolve this case, I can get a law degree and then get on the bar in Utah and deal with it myself. That's what's gonna happen. What's my plan? Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!